In the heart of Finland's modern defense strategy lies the Patria Advanced Mortar System. The Amos, a twin-barreled 120mm mortar turret that epitomizes the nation's commitment to mobile, precise, and protected artillery. Developed by Patria, a leading Finnish defense company, in collaboration with Sweden's Haglunds, now part of BAE Systems, Amos is designed to deliver rapid indirect fire support while ensuring crew safety and battlefield agility. Since its integration into the Finnish Defense Forces in 2013, Amos has become a cornerstone of Finland's artillery capabilities, reflecting the country's strategic response to regional security challenges and its new role within NATO. The Amos system is a technological marvel, featuring two 120mm smoothbore mortars mounted in a fully automated turret, typically integrated onto the Patria Armored Modular Vehicle 8x8, known in Finnish service as the XA-361. Capable of firing up to 12 rounds per minute, Amos can unleash a devastating 10-round salvo that lands simultaneously on target through multiple rounds simultaneous impact, achieving ranges of approximately 10 kilometers with standard munitions or farther with specialized rounds like the Strix guided projectile. Its advanced fire control system incorporating GPS, inertial navigation, and digital mapping, ensures pinpoint accuracy, while the turret's 360-degree traverse and high elevation, minus 3 degrees to plus 85 degrees, enable versatile engagement. Unlike traditional mortars, Amos protects its crew within the vehicle's armored hull, allowing operation in contested environments. The system's shoot-and-scoot capability Firing within 30 seconds of halting and relocating in under 30 seconds after a 14-round burst makes it elusive to counter battery fire, a critical advantage in modern warfare. This blend of firepower, mobility, and survivability positions Amos as a unique asset for rapid response operations. The origins of Amos trace back to the mid-1990s, when Finland sought to modernize its artillery to counter emerging threats in its strategically sensitive location near Russia. A study by Vamos Oy, later acquired by Patria, highlighted the vulnerabilities of towed mortars, such as crew exposure and slow repositioning, prompting a shift toward turreted systems. In 1996, Patria partnered with Heglunds to develop Amos, leveraging Finland's expertise in armored vehicles and Sweden's prowess in weapon systems. The project aimed to equip Finland's readiness brigades with a system tailored to the country's challenging terrain, forests, swamps, and arctic expanses, where mobility and resilience are paramount. By 2003, the FDF committed 120 million euros to refine AMOS, with prototypes evolving into a production-ready design. This collaborative effort not only advanced Finland's defense technology, but also strengthened Nordic defense ties setting the stage for Amos's eventual deployment. Procurement of Amos was a deliberate step to bolster Finland's artillery backbone. In 2010, the FDF ordered 18 Amos systems for approximately 100 million euro, including turrets, AMV chassis, training simulators, and a comprehensive maintenance package. The contract, signed with Patria Heglunds, also included options for additional units, reflecting confidence in the system's potential. Deliveries began in 2010 and concluded in 2013, equipping mechanized units within Finland's rapid response brigades. The process faced minor delays due to technical refinements, but the final package ensured full operational capability, with crews trained to exploit Amos's advanced features. The investment underscored Finland's focus on self-reliance, particularly as regional tensions simmered following Russia's actions in Georgia, 2008, and later Ukraine, 2014. Amos's role within the FDF is multifaceted, serving as a force multiplier for brigade-level operations. Its primary purpose is to provide rapid, precise, indirect fire support to infantry and mechanized units engaging enemy positions, fortifications, or vehicles with devastating effect. The system's mobility enables it to keep pace with fast-moving formations, delivering fire on the move or shortly after halting. 
Amos excels in shoot-and-scoot tactics, minimizing exposure to enemy detection, while its MRSI capability allows a single vehicle to simulate the firepower of an entire battery. Beyond tactical support, Amos strengthens Finland's deterrence posture along its 1,340-kilometer border with Russia, signaling readiness to counter armored or infantry threats. Since Finland's NATO accession in 2023, Amos has gained strategic significance, aligning with alliance standards for interoperability and contributing to collective defense in the Baltic and Arctic regions. Its ability to operate in Finland's diverse environments, Arctic winters, forested hills, or coastal zones, ensures year-round effectiveness. Implementation of Amos has been seamless, with the 18 systems integrated into artillery battalions, particularly within the Kainu and Karelia brigades, which are oriented toward eastern border defense. Regular exercises at training grounds like Rovajarvi showcase Amos's performance, with live fire drills simulating defensive scenarios against armored assaults. The system links with Finland's networked battlefield architecture, receiving real-time targeting data from forward observers, drones, or other sensors. Crews undergo rigorous training to master AMOS's automation, ensuring rapid response times and operational fluency. While AMOS has not been deployed abroad, its high readiness reflects Finland's defensive doctrine, which prioritizes territorial protection over expeditionary missions. The system's maintenance agreement with Patria guarantees long-term reliability, critical for sustaining Finland's artillery edge. Operationally, AMOS has a limited but purposeful history, as Finland has avoided major conflicts since its introduction. Since 2013, the system has been a fixture in domestic exercises, demonstrating its ability to deliver accurate, high-volume fire in Arctic and forested conditions. These drills often test AMOS's integration with other assets, such as CV-90 infantry fighting vehicles or Leopard 2 tanks, refining combined arms tactics. The system's networked fire control has proven effective in coordinating with drones and artillery observers, enhancing situational awareness. While AMOS has not seen combat, a testament to Finland's peaceful stance, its presence in exercises communicates capability to both NATO allies and potential adversaries. The system's reliability and crew proficiency suggest it would perform well in a crisis, though its untested status leaves some uncertainty about real-world performance under sustained pressure. The impact of AMOS on Finland is profound, reshaping its military and strategic landscape. Militarily, it elevates the FDF's artillery prowess, enabling smaller units to deliver outsized effects through mobility and precision. This enhances Finland's deterrence-based defense, reassuring policymakers and citizens of the nation's ability to counter aggression, particularly from Russia. Economically, Amos bolsters Patria's global reputation, supporting Finland's defense industry, which employs thousands and attracts investment. The system's technology underpins related products like the Nemo mortar, exported to countries like Sweden and the UAE, generating revenue and influence. Strategically, Amos reinforces Finland's NATO role, offering mobile artillery for joint operations in the Baltic or Arctic, where rapid response is critical. Its deployment near the Russian border underscores Finland's resolve, contributing to national confidence in an era of hybrid threats, from cyber attacks to border provocations.